What's up guys, we are back for another live in the OU tier today. I did say that I was going to be doing an OU video for this Friday specifically because the PWM uh, is on hold for right now. Well, I was ahead of the PWM rather and um, they have to catch up with me. So we're going to be using the team that we actually used in our week 2 PWM match to replace the video for today. Using the Staraptor team with the Magnastorm Heatran, the Scarf Keldeo, Rocky Helmet Landorus, Healing Wish, uh, Life Orb, Latias, and Mega Manectric, of course. So, let's just hop right into it. Won't uh, waste any more of your time here, guys, and we'll get a battle as soon as we can. I'll pause it until we get one. Alright, guys, and we got one here, and this guy's using a very interesting team uh, with Amoongus and uh, Jirachi over there. I'm thinking it's dual weather because of the Tyranitar. I could be wrong, though. That could be Charizard X. But he's got a lot of physical attackers as is, so uh, Charizard Y Wall Breaker would make a lot of sense on his team. So let's take a look here. What's my best lead option? Um, I'm thinking probably Keldeo. His switch into Keldeo is obviously is Amoongus, but what I can do is... Alright, so I got a game plan here, guys. I'm going to lead with Keldeo, and I'm going to immediately double into my Staraptor and Brave Bird something. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to lead Keldeo right here. anti landorus lead. He cannot stay in. And uh, I'm going to double right into Staraptor. And uh, if he stays in, that's pretty crazy on his end. But uh, either way, we'll do a lot of damage to something. If it's uh, Tyranitar's Choice Scarf, it's going to take a tremendous amount of damage from what we choose to go for. So this is my play. I need damage on the Amoongus, so hopefully he goes into that, and obviously he does, as you can see. Basically, Amoongus is just an all-around great counter to Keldeo, so that's why people bring this in. And uh, we'll be able to get off a free Brave Bird right here. Alternatively, I could predict the Landorus to be Rocky Helmet, and just, uh, well, no, there's no real play here other than just going for Brave Bird, so that's what we'll do. He does double back into his Landorus. We're going to take a lot of recoil damage here, but as you can see, that does 73%, and he is leftovers, which means we outspeed him. Uh, more than likely and we'll get off another brave bird right here. He might want to go into his Tyranitar here on this turn uh, Drachi's not a bad play either, but it's still gonna take a lot uh, We are keeping this Staraptor alive We can healing wish it up later and his uh, Drachi is probably just gonna u-turn here So I'm gonna go into my own Lando right now. It's probably not gonna go for ice punch I don't think uh, as he goes for a u-turn we do get damage off on his Drachi, which is great and now he's pretty much forced into his Charizard at this point. So that pretty much confirms that it's X. You wouldn't bring it in if it was Y. And he's just going to fire off a Flamethrower right here. So what I'm going to do is go straight into Heatran. And basically trap something with Magma Storm. As he goes for Fire Blast. And this is going to do a lot in the sun to anything. Hopefully he goes into Tyranitar here. I don't see him wanting to stay in other than Focus Blasting me. But that's not a great play. If I'm Spadef, he doesn't do much. So... Uh, alternatively, I could Toxic right here. I don't lose anything from it. So that is what I'm going to do. He, he is just going to Focus Blast, so he is going to pick up the Knockout right there. Okay, so surprisingly enough. And uh, now I can just go into Manectric and Flamethrower or something if I choose to. His appropriate Sitch would prob probably be T-Tar. However, so let's think this through. Now I'm going to go Manectric and I'm just going to fire off a Volt Switch because he doesn't have his Sand up. And he cho if he chooses to go into Excadrill, that's a bad play. He goes into Landorus here. And uh, he knows I can HP Ice him, so I'm just going to Volt Switch again, predicting him to switch out. He should go into T-Tar here, presumably. That should be his play. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we catch the T-Tar. And now we're free to go into Keldeo or Landorus. I'm going to go into Landorus just to get my rocks up. Um, I also could Stone Edge. Uh, no, I think rocks are a lot more valuable this game. Weakening the Landorus a little bit more. Getting the Charizard in very, very low, so... Uh, and we are able to get up our rocks right there as you can see. He's probably gonna pr go for his I would assume um, No, maybe not Maybe not uh, just gonna go for u-turn right here. I lose nothing. Uh, he's not rocky helmet. We've already seen leftovers, so uh, I'm probably just gonna go into Keldeo directly. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do um, He uh, he says he needs he needed his rock so Apparently those were very important to him as I can just defog them away later with Latias anyway, but uh, Right here. I'm just gonna scald If his Amoongus wants to come in that's perfectly fine. I have a chance to burn it He is in sand right now, so he's gonna be taking a lot if I do get the burn which we do and uh, Now I can just switch into my Latias on this thing. I believe Do I want, do I want my Latias to sleep though? That's the question Not really uh, I can't let this go to sleep either though because this pretty much plows through Titar, Charizard, Jirachi, Landorus. So I definitely can't let this thing go to sleep. Um, let me think here. 
Well, Landorus is really only good for switching in on the Excadrill, I guess. So I'll go into Landorus as Sleep Fodder as he takes a little bit more burn damage. He's going to put us to sleep, as you can see there. And I really want to double here, predicting his Charizard to want to come in. So I am going to do that. I'm just going to go Manectric. If he wants to Giga Drain, that's fine. I'll take it. Um, he is going to switch out into Charizard Y. Perfect. Excellent. That's great. And uh, we can just go for the... Uh, what do I want to go for here? I'm going to go for the Flamethrower this time. Because I don't see him going... Uh, he does actually choose to go directly into Tyranitar. Okay. I'm just going to Volt Switch here. He's probably going to Pursuit Trap us. But again, I still have the Latias to, uh, to mitigate that. So... His Amoongus is now burned, which is amazing. He is more than likely going to Pursuit Trap us here. I'm going to go directly into Keldeo. There we go. There's the Pursuit. And uh, we do die to Rocks plus Sand, I believe. Do we? 18.1. Yeah, we definitely do. We switched out at, <laughs> we switched out at 19, but that doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to go for Scald here. And uh, let's see what... Uh, well, I could, I could go for Hydro as well. Hydro's not a bad play at all. Um... Because it does 2 hit KO the Amoongus. Yeah, I'm going to go for Hydro Pump. And I actually miss. He's going to go for Crunch. So he's not Scarfed. So that's good to know. Um, which means... Yeah, well, he Scarfed Rachi, right? So that, that makes sense. Uh, I do uh, miss the Hydro Pump, unfortunately. Uh, but I still have 2 hit KO on, on Amoongus. And that's the point. I don't want him switching it in for free. So I really have to think long and hard about what I want to Healing Wish up here. He is going to go into his Amoongus. Not sure why. We already know that's a 2 hit KO with Sand. Um, but it only did 26%, so now I'm a little bit worried, actually. I could just go into Latias here. That is what I'm going to do, actually, because he could live the next Hydro Pump. I don't want to play around with rolls. He's going to go for Giga Drain right there, as you can see. He's just going to leave him at 18%. Now he can't even switch into two Scalds, which is good. So I'm just going to... I want to Healing Wish up. kind of just want to drop a Draco Meteor on him, honestly. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if he chooses to go into Titar right here, we are going to knock it out with the Draco Meteor, obviously, after Rocks. If he wants to go into Extra Drill, Extra Drill is actually his best play, uh, in my opinion. He doesn't want his Charizard to die. He chooses to go into Rachi and get that damage, so not bad at all. And he's probably going to go for a Healing Wish right here. So what do I want to do to counteract that? Well, he's going to Healing Wish up his Amoongus, right? So, let's go Staraptor. He's definitely clicking Healing Wish. There's there's no way he's going for an attack when I still have my Rocky Helmet Lando. He wouldn't just lose this for nothing. If he goes into Amoongus, then I get another free, uh, another free Brave Bird off on something. And I can still keep my Latias to Healing Wish back up my Staraptor once again. So, he is going to Healing Wish, and he can Healing Wish his Amoongus. Well, I mean, he can, but... Cool, so we keep the Amoongus low, that's great, and I'm just going to go into Landorus here. I'm going to keep my Staraptor alive, it still puts in work, so... Uh, again, Healing Wish Latias is so important for this game. I'm definitely going to Healing Wish up my Staraptor later. Just to double into Amoongus right here, uh, not sure why, but I guess to get maybe some regen. Makes sense. Uh, I guess he, he knew that I wouldn't Brave Bird him. That also makes sense. I'm just going to go for U-turn. He can uh, Giga Drain all he wants, but... Uh, it's not going to be gaining him anything at the end of the turn. Well, it's going to be gaining him like 4%. So he's going to allow my Landorus to wake up, basically. Uh, not sure if he's going to want to go for a Spore. I could actually EQ on this turn. Um, but U-turn is just safe. I don't want him going into Landorus. He is going to stay in here, and I'm going to go straight into Latias as he sleeps us, unfortunately. So now I'm going to have to kill that off as well. And uh, don't really feel like doing it on this turn. What do I go for here? Um, I don't want to go into Manectric because I'm feeling the T-Tar's about to come out. Keldeo wins the game. We know that. Keldeo definitely wins the game. I'm not sure if Scarf Keldeo... Let me just bring up my handy-dandy calculator over here. Uh, not sure if Scarf uh, land, uh, Scarfed uh, Keldeo outspeeds uh, Excadrill. Let's see. 3, 4, 6 times 1.5 is 519. I do not believe that outspeeds. No, he goes to 550. So, how do we want to win this? We definitely need Lando to win. He's already dropping GG while I have five Pokemon left, so don't really understand him, his uh, his train of thought there. I am just going to go for a Draco Meteor here as he goes for the Sludge Bomb. And I'm going to go for... 
Well, his T-Tar's not Scarfed, so I'm not scared of... Yeah, hold on a second. His T-Tar's not Scarfed. Um, I could just technically defog right here and just get rid of the rocks. And I'm going to stay asleep, unfortunately. So that's my Latias dead. And now everything is really, really weak. But, but, however, he does not have a, uh, a Keldeo response anymore. He doesn't have a single one. So Keldeo is kind of obvious here, so he's probably going to go into Titar. I'm going to respond to that by going into... Hmm. Manectric, so that I still get a turn. And I just go for the T-Bolt, I think. Yeah. That's that's my best course of action, I think. I just T-Bolt right here. Basically, kill off a turn of sand. Actually, my best place to flamethrower in case he wants to go directly into his Excadrill. Definitely. 100% of the time. And uh, he's going to Pursuit here, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go into Landorus. Take a little mo bit more rock damage. And I definitely need to keep my Landorus for Intimidate purposes. So I'm going to... Well, I'm just gonna Earthquake right here. There's no point in, uh, in doing anything else. He's probably Smooth Rock. I didn't really count Sand turns before. I should have. Before I made any of those plays. Count your sand turns, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, buffeted by the sandstorm. So when did it start? Um, sent out T-Tar. Sandstream kicked up. When did it end? On turn 16, I guess? Yeah, it's definitely 8 turn sand. Uh, no, buffeted, buffeted. Hold on a second. Tyranitar. Still getting buffeted here. Oh, it's because he took it away with the sun. That's why. But hold on. He started it back up after. So... Goes into T-Tar. One, uh, that's turns, uh, 15, was it? I have to figure this out here. Turn 15. Yes. Um. Flamethrower. No, it's turn 14. So if it ends on turn 22, I believe. Uh, yeah, it ended on turn 21. So it's definitely 8 turn sand. How do I mitigate this? Um, I have to go to Staraptor. And... I have to take the Iron Head and follow it up by going into Landorus. We are Rocking Helmet Defensive, so I think we take this, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to U-turn here. And he's probably going to go into his Landorus, and he's going to have to sack something as a result. But I don't think we can win this game regardless. Uh, he is going to crit the Iron Head as well, so that's definitely not going to help our <laughs> help our case out. Uh, we're just going to Scald here. If he goes for Rapid Spin, that's a huge choke. Because I can still crit the Scald on, on Charizard and just win. So, I really hope he does. That would be amazing. But he actually goes for EQ and he just knocks us out. So he was Life Orb. Unfortunately, we pick up a loss on that game. And uh, just going to hop into the next game. I really don't appreciate him dropping a GG uh, with uh, when I had five Pokemon left. If my Latios would have woken up, I still had a shot. So I really don't understand that. But anyway, we get another game here. This one looks a lot easier. It's not uh, weather, so we can definitely deal. Staraptor puts in a lot of work once again. The only thing is that it doesn't outspeed much on his team. Uh, could uh, definitely outspeeds Nidoking unless it's Scarfed. So I'm actually just going to lead Raptor as he leads Nidoking. And can't I just double edge? I'm pretty sure I can just double edge here. And just like insanely damage something. Yeah, there we go. And Rotom goes straight down. <laughs> this thing is crazy, man. <laughs> Reckless Choice Bandit. He just lost his, his counter to Staraptor. To Staraptor. <laughs> like, that's that's insane. Uh, I'm just going to go Lando here because I don't want him superpowering my Heatran as he goes for the U-turn. So he's going to take Rocky Helmet damage there. And he's probably going to go, yep, right into his Landorus. And I'm just going to get up rocks as he is as well. That's fine. And um, does he have a... He does have a switch into Keldeo. He got his rocks off first. So I'm going to go for U-turn. He's going to go for a Toxic, that's fine. Now I can go into Keldeo and Icy Wind. And really, really hurt something. And I'm assuming it's going to be the Latios. A Latios coming in. Perfect. As we're going to get an Icy Wind off, it's going to do 38. It's going to lower his speed. And we will be faster on the next turn. However, I do not want to stay in on a Psy Shock. So I'm going straight into Heatran here. Definitely. And uh, now he's in range. Oh, never mind. He's got Roost. Okay, that means he probably doesn't have a coverage move for Heatran, though, which is good. 
Uh, I'm just going to fire off Magma Storm here, trap him in. Then I'm probably going to Toxic him. He's actually going to choose to go into Tornadus, so that's going to get trapped. And uh, I don't think he takes us out with anything. So he's pretty much forced to U-turn here. Uh, he goes for knockoff and he loses his Tornadus in the process. Awesome. So we were able to knock that out. And now his Needle King comes right back in. <laughs> All right, this thing is a huge threat. I'm not, uh, I don't want to play games with this. I uh, just want to go Lottie, I think. And... Hmm. Is that the play? Yeah, I think Lottie's the play. Worst case, he sludge waves. Uh, he chooses to go for Ice Beam, actually, so we definitely live that. And uh, here I can just drop a Draco on something on his team, which is great. And he chooses to bring in Scizor, which is what I expected him to do. And uh, that's going to take a tremendous amount. And now, does he have Roost is the question. If he has Roost, he's going for it right here. So I'm going to go right back out into Heatran as he's going to Roost. And now we get a free Magma Storm off on something. Hopefully the Nido King, so he can just sack it. <laughs> he goes into Latios, though. So good play on his part. That does do 27%, 39 after the Magma Storm recoil damage. And I'm just going to go for Toxic right here as he roosts. And we can fire off another Magma Storm right now. He can fire, uh, he can go for a Draco or a Psy Shock. doesn't really matter. We are going to take down this Latios with Heatran, which is something you don't hear every day. So it was very nice. Um, just going to taunt right here. This is going to Draco Meteor again. Actually, Draco's that time, and that takes us out. But that's not a problem. We do still have Staraptor for the Scizor and Manectric, of course. That's the big answer. Um, I'm kind of weary of his Landorus being Scarfed, however. Uh, but I can just go Keldeo here, actually, and just knock everything out. We're just going to go for Scald right now. Try to get a burn. This thing does seem to be... Okay, so he goes for Bullet Punch for no reason. I'm just going to Scald again, and uh, hopefully pick up a burn as we do. That's what Scald is good for, and he forfeits the match right there. So we were able to pick up the second win. Let's make it three. Come on, guys. We can do it. We can do it. And again, I'm trying to keep these episodes as short as possible. Just under 25 minutes is perfect. So if this battle takes the same course as the last one, we should be good. He does seem to have a lot of offense on this team, so we should have no problem doing that. Actually, Staraptor just destroys everything once again. It doesn't outspeed a lot, but when it does, it just murks something. So... I'm going to lead, more than likely, Keldeo. Keldeo's solid. Um, he doesn't have a good Keldeo switch in, honestly. Because if, if I go for Secret Sword on the... Well, he has a Starmie. He has a Starmie. Gotta keep that in mind. What is he gonna lead with? Um, okay. So, I think his best lead is Landorus. As a result... I'm just going to lead with my own Landorus, honestly. Okay, so he leads with Charizard, which is more than likely why. The reason I'm, I say that is because if he was predicting my Lando to lead, he wouldn't want to lead with a Charizard X. So, uh, we will... We will what? We will go into Latias here and really hope he's not... Really hope he's not X. And really hope he doesn't go for a Dragon Claw, because that would just make no sense. Uh, he does go straight into his own Lando, though, so that's quite a peculiar play um so that kind of tells me he's x more than likely yeah so i'm gonna double back into my own land though if he wants to get up rock the rocks that's perfectly fine he goes into chancy though and we are gonna get up our own rocks right here on his landorus i don't know why he's switching into this this makes no sense um i'm just gonna go into keldeo at this point i think uh, i could also go Staraptor because it won't have the drop and just hit him up with a Brave Bird. I'm pretty sure defensive Landorus drops to Brave Bird. Let's see. Landorus, T. Uh, we'll put my custom set. Uh, even though it's not defensive. Well, it sort of is, yeah. Wait, what? What is this set? I've never seen... Yeah, this is my Hidden Power Ice set. I don't get it. Anyway. Uh, Staraptor. Uh, Choice Banded. Choice Banded Brave Bird does 55 to 65 with the Intimidate. How about without it? Does about... Okay, so it definitely doesn't take him out. Neither does Double Edge, because they're the same damage, obviously. But, after a Stone Edge, which is what I'm going to go for, and I miss, of course. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn here. He does seem to be faster than me, which is good. He uh, He's probably just going to U-turn out, is what I'm thinking. Because uh, if he hards, then... If he hard switches, then we get a lot of momentum off of this turn. We're able to go into, like, Heatran, or... Like, I'm just, I'm just thinking about what he can bring out here to to mitigate a U-turn coming off or a Stone Edge. 
the most the more likely play is that he would go into Ferrothorn, and that's going to open a door for my Heatran to come in. So we actually outspeed him on that turn. Uh, oh no, we outspeed him on the first turn as well. We just missed Stone Edge. Sorry. Uh, I'm just going to go Keldeo here as he goes for his U-turn, and he's probably going to bring in Starmie, which is perfectly fine. And uh, what do I want to go in on the Starmie? What do I want to go into on its rapid spin? Is he leftovers? No, he is not. Huh. Okay, well, that kind of scares me. I'm just going to go Latias here. I know he can have Ice Beam. He's not going to go for it on turn one. He's going to go for the spin. Exactly. And this thing is a lot easier to deal with than defensive Starmie. Now that I know that, I know that Keldeo puts in a lot more work than it did before. So I'm just going to go for my own Defog here. He's going to go for Ice Beam. It's going to do a lot, but as long as he doesn't freeze us, we're fine. I just wanted to get rid of the rocks, honestly. And now I'm going to be able to... Well, to nothing. This thing is a problem, actually. I'm going to have to sack something here, and I think it's going to be Latias. Latias doesn't do anything for me this game, does it? It just gets rid of rocks. That's literally all it does. Uh, is that important, though? No, because Keldeo is my win condition in this game. Yeah, I'm definitely just going for a Draco Meteor here. That's fine. He can Ice Beam me again. That's okay. And uh, I'm just going to go into... Why does our Scarfer have to be Keldeo? Does it take out Starmie? I don't think it does. Keldeo... Oh, that's not the right set. Um, well, that's pretty much the right set. It doesn't really matter. Um, Starmie. Oh, you offensive. How much do we do with a Scald? So Hydro Pump's definitely not taking it out. Nope. All right, we're going to go into Manectric. We can definitely eat up a special hit after the after the boost. So I'm just going to do that. Going to Volt Switch. If he loses his Starmie, then he really has no Keldeo switches at that point. He has to predict around me infinitely. That's really not safe for him, so. Um, yeah, just going to go for a Volt Switch here. If he wants to go into his Landorus, I will just HP Ice it, more than likely, on the following turn. I don't expect him to want to lose his Starmie, though. Uh, I actually expected Chansey to come out there, but it's fine. Um... He's more than likely just going to get up rocks again. Does he actually choose to go Chansey this time? Okay. Well, we're going to Volt Switch here. And uh, this is not your rocker, so I'm not worried about this thing at all. And he goes for a Seismic Toss, takes Rocky Helmet damage. And now I'm just going to U-turn. I'm not going to let his Lando come in for free anymore. Because I don't want him to get up rocks. And... Yeah, basically I just don't want him getting up rocks. I want my own up at some point for the Charizard, of course, but... I mean, I still have Manectric. We know he's Charizard X more than likely, but regardless. Uh, here I can go into Keldeo pretty safely, right? Because now Scald almost two hit KOs with a burn it does. Um, Chansey takes it the best, but... If I make one right prediction on this one turn and go for a Secret Sword, then he gets, he gets his Chansey knocked out and then I can just spam Scald. So, I'm going to go for it. As he is going to go into Chansey, and we are going to be able to weaken it. Not knock it out, but weaken it. Which is extremely important. And I have to go for Secret Sword again. I can't risk him. Yeah, that's fine. He can go into Gengar, but I couldn't risk him going for another one. Uh, for uh, another one. <laughs> for a Soft Boiled right there. So I'm going to go into Raptor on this turn. On his, uh, on his trick, actually. And he gives me a Choice Scarf. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this thing just became a very big threat in this game. Oh wow, hold on a second. Before, on the on the uh, last turn, remember I was saying uh, that Keldeo didn't have a scar- was the only was the only Scarfer that I had and it didn't beat Starmie. Now I have another one. <laughs> Wait, this is huge. Because I can literally knock out almost his, the, entirety of he, the entirety of his team. I can just go for Brave Bird right here and it's going to be do so much, even to Ferrothorn. Look at this damage. That's insane. As we do take Rocking Helmet and Recoil, but that's fine. Like, I can just go Heatran here. His Rocker is Landorus, we know that. So now we have a Choice Scarf Staraptor on deck. And he has a Chansey that is at 8%. So we're going to take nothing in Recoil. That's huge. Um, I'm just going to Magma Storm this thing. And he's going to take a lot of Residual here. And he doesn't have a, a really good switch to this. To be honest. Yeah, luckily we were able to land two Magma Storms there. Thank goodness. And, uh... Now Staraptor just... Staraptor just mercs him now. I mean, we have our, our Manectric Mega Evolved. So we do, we do not need to worry about this Starmie right here. It is not an issue anymore. So, 
And he just lost his ground type. I can freely Volt Switch on his team. His Ferrothorn's at, at 54. I can Thunderbolt him. Yeah, what do I need Heatran for? For for the Ferrothorn? No. Uh, like, what do I need it for? I guess for Charizard. What don't I need? Staraptor wins, right? As soon as we get rid of the Ferrothorn. Staraptor just clicks Brave Bird a bunch of times and wins. Um, Kel uh, Landorus, do I need you? No. I'm going into Landorus right here on the what I'm thinking is a Hydro Pump. And he goes for the Hydro Pump and he lands it. That's fine. Okay. Now we go Manectric. And now we just Thunderbolt. Just Thunderbolt. Like, that's all we need to do. And if his Charizard is not carrying Earthquake, if it's Dragon Dance, um, Roost, let's say. Dragon Dance, Roost, Dragon Claw, and Flare Blitz, then we win. His Chansey goes down to the Thunderbolt, that's fine. And now he goes into his Charizard, and we can Volt Switch on this thing and really hope that it doesn't have EQ. And we can just go Heatran here. He goes for the Dragon Dance right there. I'm praying that he doesn't have Earthquake. This is it, guys. This is the turn. I'm going for Earth Power. He goes for Dragon Claw. It does a lot, but after Leftovers, we're fine. We knock out the Charizard. This is going to be the biggest turn of events ever because of Staraptor. Right now, guys. I'm telling you. I want I want the kills with Staraptor. I want it to get all the kills. So he brings in Starmie. I'm bringing in Keldeo at this point. Hydro Pump knocks you out. After a Life Orb hit. You're not going for Psychic. You're going for Hydro Pump. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just going for the Hydro Pump of my own. And I miss, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's fine. And he actually hits me with a Thunderbolt. But you guys didn't get to see that, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go into Manectric. That's not okay. I should let you guys see the moves. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go for Thunderbolt right here. It's it's a good play. He, he scarfed... He, he tricked his scarf to my Staraptor. That was huge. That was huge. That, that just won me the game. Like... Like, even if all else failed... That won me the game. I can just go for Flamethrower right here. If he wants to go into Gengar, he's going to take more damage. Like, that's... that That's insane. He's actually going to go into Starmie. That's not going to save you, man. I'm just going to T-Bolt you again. As he goes into Ferrothorn. I'm not taking damage from any of this. What what exactly are you trying to do? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> as his Ferrothorn finally goes down. And I'm picking up the kills with Staraptor. I'm telling you guys right now. I'm going for Volt Switch. As he goes into Starmie. And I'm going straight into Staraptor. And I am clicking Brave Bird on this Gengar. And I am knocking him out with the scarf he gave me. He is Choice Bandit. <laughs> this is insane. Watch this thing go straight down, guys. Oh, come on! You gotta let me get that kill! No! I wanted to show off Staraptor's Brave Bird on one more Pokemon. Oh, well, alright. Well, uh, I'm gonna try to work a scarf into the thumbnail on Staraptor. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> this is such a good this is such a good live guys. I had so much fun recording this. I don't think I've had this much fun on a live to date. So I know we picked up a loss. I think it was the first game, but it, it doesn't even matter. It's fizzled out in my mind at this point. I have a tendency of going two and one on every episode I record anyway, so it's to be expected. I'm not gonna if I come out with three wins, that's amazing. If I come out with two losses, then I'm depressed. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below, let me know. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more, of course, leave a comment if you have any questions, if you want to, if you just have a general comment, of course. And uh, thanks again for watching. Ciao.